Good afternoon. This is BBC Radio, The Real Sound of the City, and this is The Log Rush Show. And we are broadcasting live here from Hotel Paradiso. And we have a very special guest joining us. We have Diego Carlo, who is the founder and owner of Concept Hotel Group here in Ibiza. Good afternoon, Diego. Good afternoon. Thanks for having me here. <laughs> That's great. Thank you very much for joining us. And thank you very much for coming in, let, well, letting us to come into your hotel today. It's an absolute, it's fantastic. <laughs> we, and if you just, um, we're here actually in um, the reception and we're in a glass bedroom actually. Do you want to just tell us a little bit about that before we get into a bit more introduction about who you are? So what was yes. the idea behind this room here? Well, we had this idea a few, well, we opened the hotel in 2018. Yeah. And uh, Paradiso is, is an art hotel, uh, apart from having the gallery and, and we have involved also 60 artists, one in each room. Uh, we wanted to do something very, uh, that brings an impact you know, in, in the lobby. So we were thinking about different uh, types of ideas and uh, we thought why not making a, like a human performance. You know? So what we do actually is we created a, we created a, like a cube yeah, uh, where you can find uh, the bed, the, the table we are sitting now. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, the, the the bathroom is is closed because it's not very, <laughs> no, it's not interested. So we actually allow people to stay for free one night. Right, they okay. only can book in our website, <clears throat> and also we use the room for different types of artists to do like micro residences yeah. and things similar to what we are doing now. Okay, so people have to sign a waiver, don't they, that they're allowed to be filmed as well when they, they come in? Exactly, yeah. yes, because uh, people will be all for sure recording some recording. Instagram stories. No? Okay, so firstly, I think it'd be great to hear about how it all came about, but just about Concept Hotel Group. Yes, well, Concept Hotel Group, as the name says, is like a conceptual uh, group of hotels. Uh, I created the company in 2013 with my good friend uh, Talen, uh, which is uh, my only partner, and uh, we run the business together. Um, and we actually wanted to make, since we had a, a big passion for the music and we had a big passion for the island of Ibiza, because we both born here on the island, and uh, we wanted to create something different. Uh, so in Ibiza at the time, uh, most of the people, most of the hoteliers and uh, and night promoters, everyone was doing very similar things in terms of design, in terms of uh, activities. So since the first moment, since we started with Santos, which is the first yeah. hotel, um, actually Santos, we call it Santos because in Ibiza, the villagers are saints, like San Antonio, San Jose, Santa Eulalia. So it was our way to connect our passion for music with the island. So you actually... Each room is having a different uh, experience from, we show an experience from a different music star. Yes, you can, you can stay at the, for example, at the George Michael Suite and, yeah. and explains how uh, he recorded the Club Tropicana video at Bikes. Or you can stay at the Nina Hagen room and yeah. it explains you how was uh, her wedding in Ibiza a punky wedding of three days. So it's different types of explanations. So that's, that was the first hotel, and that's how we started with Concept. Okay, so for everyone listening, can you just run through the hotels that you have here in Ibiza? So we've got Santos, Paradiso. We have, well, I tell you chronologic. Yes, okay, go for it. <laughs> so first one was Santos, then we opened Tropicana, which, which is also in Plaza Bosa. Then we opened Dorado, also Plaza Bosa, and then Cubanito Calagrasio. Uh, Paradiso, and we just opened uh, Romeo's, which is next door where we are now, uh, just opened uh, a couple of weeks ago. Okay. So our hotel number six. I think I've been, to, so Tropicana's in Playa de Bossa, that's, they're all quite similar style, then, aren't they, in terms of very colourful, very bright? Yes, we decided to to keep on like a, a fresh uh, design and architecture, but being different to uh, what you could find in Ibiza. So actually Tropicana is super uh, it seems like you are in the South Beach of, yeah, yeah, of yeah. Miami, very similar at the, at the buildings at Ocean Drive. And uh, it's actually a, a concept that it's relation to cocktails. So right. every, every room is having a different tropical cocktail name. And we have a, a shower in the pool that is like a martini cup. 
and water comes out of the straw. Right, I didn't know that. That's great because I've been in there. So for, for everybody <laughs> listening who's been to Ibiza, perhaps you've actually been to Tropicana. So there you go. Every room is based on the cocktail. Exactly. We actually have a, a share, a, like a, like a cocktail uh, to make your own cocktail in the room. So also. Okay, this is the Log Rush Show. This is Unity Radio, the real sound of the city. And we are broadcasting live here with Diego Calvo, who's the founder and CEO of Concept Hotel Group. How are you, Diego? I'm very good, thanks. Very good. So before we just had a very quick overview of the hotel group, would it be interesting for us to find out a little bit more? I know you're from Ibiza. Yes. Uh, what kind of... Um, What's your history before you got into the hotel group? What were you doing when you were younger, 15, 16, 17? <laughs> well, I was in the Institute, I think. Uh, <laughs> long hair, uh, skate, bicycle, Skater. and uh, looking for girls, no? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, well, I mean, I, I got very early into the hospitality. Yeah, I, was, I was 17, actually, when I went to Mallorca to study hotels. Right. So I, I have been always involved between hotel, hotel business and hotels and, and music. Okay. And, and what did you... Were you working before you set up your own... Well, I started I actually did a, well, I did a, a university hotel management uh, in Mallorca. Then I did a master also for hotel management in Barcelona. And since the beginning, I I, I was always working in, in in all types of jobs into the the hotels from uh, night reception uh, in the kitchen, breakfast, room service, groups, reception, everything you can you can imagine. And then in in I think it was, I was working different hotel groups, was also in London, working for Hilton, I did Marriott, I did Dan H, really? I did hotel groups, but then in 2005, uh, I remember I, well, broke up with, well, uh, with a girlfriend, <laughs> and uh, I, by conscience, I was living in Barcelona, and by conscience, I got a, I got a call from uh, a hotelier here in Ibiza, and uh, yeah. offered me a job as a manager, so I say that's my that's is the time to time to go time to go and and come back to my to my place to my island. So so I came back. I was working uh, for around seven years in that hotel chain, and then uh, with my friend Talen, yeah. who was at the time uh, one of the direct well, director for the club Privilege, uh, we both got very stressed in our jobs, and and we decided to to start our, our own business. So that's that. That was my my background, and always at the same time I was doing work for hotels. I always was involved into the music. I have my also um, like my my event on the island. It's been running for fifteen years. Okay. It's called Rock Nights. Oh right, okay. What's that? Is the I think the only rock and roll. I think no, I'm sure. <laughs> it's the only rock and roll <laughs> party right. in Ibiza, and, right. and it happens weekly at Hotel Pikes now for the last seven years. Ah, right, we've been yeah. into clubs everywhere, but uh, now for the last seven years we've been at Pikes, where is our home. And uh, we're going to be there in the future if the bureaus allow us to continue doing nightlife. <laughs> and what sure? So I know you've got a rock and roll inspiration because you can't really see. Because um, I, I had to put similar shirts on, you know, because we met yesterday yeah. and I thought, I need to match the shirt. <laughs> That's <laughs> not, not really a Hawaiian it's shirt. It's not really Hawaiian, no. You try a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, so just tell us a bit about your inspiration in musically. Yes, uh, my well, I'm, I've been always since I was 16, uh, 17 uh, years old. I was uh, listening to to rock music. At the time, more into um, like the times in the nineties. No, I'm listening more to Nirvana, Offspring, Green Day, and then uh, when I went to university, I cut my blonde hair. Right. Uh, I live. I don't know how you call. It. English to pen, like yeah. rocker, yeah. Yeah, 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 I think so. <laughs> and since that time, uh, so yeah, always guitar sounds actually. But uh, my inspirations is more mm, not only from the music, also from from movies, uh, from like eighties movies, uh, classic cars, uh, South Beach architecture, mid century Palm Springs, uh, yeah. very American. Uh, but I've never been there. <laughs> not yet. It's a bit weird, but I've never been to. Never been to the uh, USA. Okay. If you're just joining us, this is the sounds of 
Diego Calvo, who is the owner and founder of Concept Hotel Group. For those who've been to Ibiza, you may have stayed in one of his hotels, the Santos Tropicana, and we're here now in Paradiso. We are live in reception, and we're going to listen to some more music and then come back on the other side, and Diego's going to, he's going to share what he believes makes well, a successful hotel. Good afternoon, this is the Logro Show. We are here with Diego Calvo in his hotel in Hotel Paradiso in San Antonio Bay. And we are we are just actually in reception. We are in a, a glass box, which is also doubles up as a bedroom. And you can book the bedroom if you wanted to come and stay here for free for one night. How's it going, Diego? Very good, thanks. Thanks for having me. That's good. And before we were talking about... Diego's story of uh, growing up in Ibiza and how he came to owning a hotel. But I think we just want to get into the business, actually, of running a hotel. And one of the questions that we always ask here on the Logros Show is, in your opinion, what do you believe, now based on your experience, makes uh, a successful hotel? I think first first of, of everything uh, should be should be like... Uh, do it with with passion and because without doing the things from the heart uh, it's very difficult that they will remain for for a time so i think that's very important and also i think it's very important to create to create a product that is that is different and is not uh, a standard thing because uh, nowadays i think in all the sectors not, in, not only in the hotel industry you need to create uh, products and you need to create brands that are having uh, an, a strong personality and, uh, and a concept and a story and a story behind. No, so I think that's uh, will be my my tips no? for running a hotel. <laughs> okay, and what what have been your uh, besides you know the current COVID crisis? Yeah. What uh, in a general year? What are your main challenges that you find with running uh, well five oper- five hotels because it's a big operation. Well, actually, because because our our we call it like, like if we say that the concept universe, no, what is all all around the hotels? Because because we are a, as a, a different hotel group that we are more than hotels where you go to to sleep and to have breakfast and have a swim. Uh, in our hotels, you get a, you get an experience, and uh, in in our hotels, you can experience uh, something very different in terms of. Uh, where you stay, how the design of the hotel is, or also the content we provide to the to the hotels. Uh, we actually have a we call it a cultural agenda, uh, which is uh, different events that we create our own, uh, like concerts, uh, cinema, salsa classes, aerobic, like uh, 80s Jane Fonda style, and uh, so. I mean, we, apart from the normal operations as a challenge, yeah. uh, we care a lot about the the content happening in the hotels and the design of the hotels. Okay, so well, that, that's um, the, the next question I did want to ask you in terms of customers. So everyone listening who's wanting to come to a beach there, maybe if we're lucky, quarantine's lifted in September yes. potentially for the UK. But, wow. That will be a fantastic news. Well, that is, actually, on that note, how, what percentage of your customers are from the UK? Yeah, well, at the moment, uh, in well, in a normal year, uh, we will have around fifty-five percent from right. the UK, which is uh, which is a very big percentage, actually. Right. Also, our hotels are not our boutique hotels, not very big, are from forty to sixty rooms at the moment. Maybe in the future, we do something a bit bigger. Yeah, and uh, so. The, the UK customers they book earlier than maybe in Spanish or in Italian. Is it, is it like January, February they normally? Book? Yes. Yeah. Yes. In January is where we when we have the more bookings coming. Everybody then looking forward to the, the holiday uh, after after Christmas. So right. yes. Okay. So in in terms of the um, customer experience, what kind of experience do you want to give the customer who comes here to your hotels? Uh, well, two two types, no, or three types. We will say yeah. uh, one is the good service experience, and from from our staff, yeah. okay, in in a place where you can have the most facil- facilities as possible. But another another will be the the small details you find through your stay, like for example, 
uh, I don't know, for example, in Hotel Dorado, yeah. uh, you come into the room and you put the card and it's switched on a, a vinyl with the name uh, of the of the room because every room at Dorado is like a, a golden record chunk. So small details or, may, or, or in the shower we'll have a sure microphone. So all these small details you can find in the hotels will be one of the experience we want to we want to provide no and the, and the third one will be the the content that happens like the bingo or we do with a a, a drag queen or the karaoke or the aerobic i was telling you that. so different type of experience actually okay uh, and what would you say is the most important thing for you for me yeah most important for you for is that for the founder that how it, the quality how the customer feels uh the most important you mean from from the from the vision of the client or yes. yeah well i mean it will be a uh all 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 all, all that the, the experience in general is been is been positive and they appreciate and they see what we're doing no with yeah. the with the details of yeah. everything yeah. good afternoon this is the Logra show on unity radio the real sound of the city and we are broadcasting live here from hotel Paradiso in Ibiza in San Antonio Bay and we are broadcasting into the landing in Media City UK and across Manchester on 92.8 FM www.unityradio.fm and we are here with Diego Calvo who is the founder and CEO of Concept Hotel Group and he has been sharing his story of what it's like to run a very successful hotel business here in Ibiza and now we're going to just find out what's been happening in terms of COVID and how he's adapted um, the business, really. Diego? Yes. <laughs> Big changes, no? Uh, new things going on. So we have to adapt our our business to the measures uh, from the Spanish government. And, uh, well, we have two, like, two different types of measures. Uh, ones are the measures more for, like, uh, a normal hotel operations, like regarding... Uh, cleaning a room, having the having the gel, wearing masks in all common areas, uh, distances uh, at the restaurant uh, with the tables, uh, not having big groups of people staying in a place, and then other the measures for for the events we do. I mean, we are not a hotel company that does uh, like parties like Sab, like Ushuaia or another places on the islands. They do. Uh, we do more like cultural events like open cinema. I mean, we do concerts uh, for around 400 people now with the distances. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, so it's, it, it goes from 400 to 200, more or less. Uh, so, I mean, basically, we've been very strict uh, with all our uh, employees to to be to have uh, secure hotels. And we actually had a, a COVID inspection the other day. Really? And uh, we didn't get uh, any penalty. So that means we are doing the things correctly. That's and normally, when you get penalties from everything when you get an inspection, no? Okay. Even you are doing the things nicely. But uh, yes, we, uh, everything was correct. And what are your plans then for 2021? How do you see things looking? Yeah, well, hopefully uh, we're going to get a solution no? uh, soon in terms of uh, medicine and uh, we will be able to uh, be in a similar situation because I don't think we'll be the same anymore, but yeah, we can be s similar, no? let's say. And uh, we are planning to, to open all our hotels in April next year. Yeah. And uh, we, are, I mean, we are actually having a lot of more sales now comparing to the same day uh, last year, no? Uh, but obviously, I mean, it's, you don't know what's going to happen yeah. with all that, that, that bookings, but at least it's looking, it's looking good for, for next year. So everybody's booking for the next year now as well? Every, a lot of, yeah, because a lot of people also who had booked for 2020, they changed the booking to 2021. So, plus the new bookings, so in totally, uh, we have like three times more. Okay, and uh, across the staff who work here, what percentage are, are English? Because we were talking before. Yes. Everybody listening in Manchester now <laughs> or uh, who's potentially wanting to work overseas here in Ibiza, I did ask Diego um, how, many kind of, how many English people do you have working, and uh, there wasn't so many, is that right? 
excuse me? You don't have so many. No, I don't have so many. I would love to, to if we have some more uh, employees from, from the UK. And if you have a nice attitude, if you talk a bit of Spanish, I don't need, I don't need perfect Spanish, but at least a bit of Spanish, good attitude, and you and you are interested for music, art, fashion, cinema, right. and the things we like, door is open. Okay, so there you go. For everybody who's wanting to work overseas for 2021, all right, Diego, where, do you, where would they go to sort of find out more about that for employment opportunities? Well, in our... In our website, yes, con- contact uh, the main the main e- email from Concept Hotel Group, which is info at conceptholtelgroup.es. And make sure also you find a place to stay on the island because that's the most difficult, to be honest. It's, it's not easy. But uh, if you get the place on the island, nice attitude, a bit of Spanish, Concept can be... Okay. On, on that note, actually, then, yeah. in terms of advice, when we, if someone was looking to come to Ibiza to work, when would you say is the best time to start looking for accommodation? Because if that's the main priority, what, what top tip would you I, give there? I will say middle of February, beginning of March. Right, Because okay. uh, there's not uh, many places available and uh, the prices are not uh, very attractive to be honest. Right. So the, the sooner, better. The sooner, the better. Okay. If you're just joining us, this is the Log Rush Show. We are live here from Diego's Hotel, Paradiso. We are in reception and we are broadcasting live across Manchester on 92.8 FM. It is just after half past four here in Ibiza. And I guess it's half past three there in the UK. And we are going to listen to some more music now. And we're going to be joined by Diego again. He's going to tell us what, what, his top tips for living in Ibiza, where to go, where to stay, above uh, and be well besides uh, the, the clubs and discos as well. So this is Unity Radio, the real sound of the city. Good afternoon. This is the Log Rush Show. We are live on Unity Radio from Ibiza. And I've just had a text uh, from my mother, okay. actually. Um, <laughs> Actually, she's saying very interesting. She's good. She said, <laughs> Mum, I'm just showing Diego the message you sent me. He's great to listen to. So good okay. shout out to the family there listening. I'm sure she will come and visit uh, soon, no? To, well, yeah, she's coming in September, actually, if, if, if quarantine's you, lifted. Okay, fantastic. We will invite her for a coffee or a drink. Great. So, <laughs> okay, well, actually, on that note, then, let's talk about Ibiza. So um, for those who've never been to Ibiza before, just describe the island Yes. Well, I think Ibiza is is a, a very particular, no? Because it's it's a place. It's not very big, uh, but you can. But it happens a lot of things, different things, no? Uh, it's very it's very active in terms of uh, things happening in relation to to art, relation to fashion, relation to uh, to music, especially, no? And also, it is a place where you can meet the best people the the, the, the best and, and and the worst people no uh, i mean but you can find all types of people and a lot of interesting a lot of artists a lot, a lot of bohemian and so maybe you will meet some people you will not never meet in in, mm-hmm. in another place no and also at the same time i think it's, it's just a beautiful place uh, a beautiful place where you can find like Beach is, is is amazing. Such a clear water, amazing uh, landscapes, nice places to see sunset. So, I mean, that's why I, I will want to stay here forever. <laughs> what's your what's your favorite thing to do when you're not working? Uh, well, I spend a lot of time with my daughters, yeah. uh, with my with my girlfriend also, and uh, I always have an opportunity to have a nice swim on the beach yeah. or I escape to Formentera, which is the island next door. Mm-hmm. And, and can you describe um, describe probably the feeling that you think Ibiza gives from being here? Well, it's, it's a place where everything everything can happen, no? Yeah. And uh, a lot of people arriving to the island, uh, they don't they don't want to live never. So it's, uh, it's very... Um, magic no i would say is very is a big uh, touch of happiness uh, fresh yeah. summer and uh, shining okay. <laughs> yeah, that, well yeah i absolutely agree. I mean, <laughs> form, and, form and terror as well what you've mentioned before 
for those who haven't been to Forman Tura before, next time you're here, it's, it's very easy to get to, isn't it? You can just get on the boats. Yes, the boats. it's just half an hour, half an hour ferry where it takes. How do you think it's different to Ibiza, Forman Tura? Uh, well, I, I think Ibiza, I mean, it's, it's, it's a bigger island yeah. and, it, and it, is, it is more active... Uh, in terms of uh, things happening, no? Okay. Uh, Formentera is more quiet. Yeah, okay. If you're just joining us, this is Diego Calvo, who is the owner and founder of Concept Hotel Group. This is the Log Rush Show, and we are live here from Ibiza. It is Tuesday. It is the 21st of August, and we are going to listen to some more music, and we're going to join uh, Diego for a couple more questions before the end of the show. Let's go. And this is Unity Radio The Real Sound of the City. We are broadcasting here live from Ibiza into Manchester, into the landing in Media City UK and across Greater Manchester on 92.8 FM. And if you're just joining us, this is the first of our series called Making Ibiza. And we have been delighted that we've been joined by Diego Calvo, who is the CEO and founder of Concept Hotel Group. And he's been sharing his history of how we set up the hotels and also um, describing the island of Ibiza and we just wanted to talk about now obviously it's been difficult for uh, UK uh, tourists to come to Ibiza but if the quarantine is lifted and things change then Diego just share about what's happening here in Ibiza to extend the season. Well I I have actually been uh, working together with with another friend and and, and a hotelier he's called Mark Raola he's uh, CEO and founder for Audi Group, uh, cool hotels also. <laughs> yeah. And uh, actually during quarantine, uh, we had this idea uh, to, to extend the season with, uh, with a festival, no? a 45 days festival. It's called Ibiza Festival Calendar. You actually can check it online. And uh, so the idea was to, to, to get as much... Uh, private companies as possible and um, motivate them to create content for at the end of the season for October, November. Okay, so it goes from 2nd October to 16th November. We are at that moment having uh, more than 100 events, wow. uh, different types of events because obviously nightlife this year is difficult, yeah. but you can find uh, foodie events, sports live music, cultural, so many types of event that can makes Ibiza more attractive during low season. So the idea is uh, work together. So we are working together with the council of Ibiza yeah. and uh, we are expecting the confirmation of their support in the next uh, we- uh, week's days. Okay. And uh, hopefully we're going to be working together in, in this project. And the idea is that remains for the future years. That is not only a thing right. only for, for this for this year, also for future years. And we are planning to do the same thing we're doing in October, to do it also March, April. Okay, so it's like Ibiza Festival of Spring on a Spring. So uh, this is how, how we call it. So hopefully it works and it makes uh, Ibiza a better destination. And, and how did you come up with the inspiration for the idea? Well, actually, it was uh, at the beginning of the quarantine, um, some of some of the, the directors' association of hoteliers in Ibiza had this movement, was called Move Your Spring, that apparently it was uh, that we changed the booking. We had in tried to, to change the booking for a spring to change it to the end of the season, okay? So then it was different types of... Uh, working groups into the association so we took the we took the project mark and i to to work in the Vita festival calendar because it was an idea we both had and we both uh, working uh, with our teams so hopefully it works but we need a bit of support now okay this is the logra show and each week here on the logra show we do invite guests, entrepreneurs, global entrepreneurs now, and it's been great having Diego come and talk to us. And I think we just wanted to talk a little bit more about entrepreneurship. We are now speaking to the real entrepreneurs of Ibiza, like the strap line, the Unity <laughs> Radio strap line is the real sound of the city. So we are talking to different entrepreneurs across Ibiza, business owners, hoteliers, and I think just 
if you could uh, give us your take on the key attributes, what you believe makes a successful entrepreneur. Uh, I will say being, being passion to, to everything you do, to be, di- be, be different and be a bit of a rebel. A bit of a rebel, <laughs> passionate and be different to what you do. That's great. Fantastic. Passion is always the one that comes up every time we speak to different entrepreneurs. And on a day-to-day basis, how are you staying motivated? With music, a lot. Music. Is that one of the first things I do when I when I wake up? I listen to music all the time. So I think music is one of my motivation, and and I actually motivate creating uh, new hotels like bands do with new records. <laughs> so on that note, then, what's the big vision? What's the longer term plan? Uh, our idea is to is to open a hotel per year in Ibiza. And also, we are planning to start in the cities with a urban city brand, a lifestyle okay. hotel brand, similar to what Soho House or the standard hotels are, but also making difference into the cities. Which cities are we going to? Anything? First will be, I think, Madrid. Madrid uh, yeah. But we are at, uh, once we open in Spain the first city hotel, then we will be all open to do new destinations. Okay. Right, this is Unity Radio Real Sound of the City. We're going to listen to some more music and one more question from Diego before the show finishes. Thank you very much so far for listening. This is the Lagra Show in association with the Great Twenty Chamber of Commerce and this is Making Ibiza. So the series is called Making Ibiza and we're going to ask everyone who we speak to in their view or their opinion, what is it that makes Ibiza for you, Diego? I think uh, if I need to choose one sentence, I would say uh, that Ibiza allows you allows you to be the person you want to be. Great. Okay. <laughs> so thank you very much. So in Diego's word, Ibiza allows you to be the person that you want to be. Thank you very much for coming in. No, I'm not coming in. We've come into your place today. <laughs> I'm so used to being in the studio and saying thank you for coming into the studio. So thank you very much for a fantastic hotel here. Thanks to you guys for having me. Okay, and uh, any last words in the business, hotels? Yeah, I mean, uh, I will say that Ibiza is the best destination in Europe for many reasons, and we are here uh, ready to welcome you. Okay, right, brilliant. Thank you very much. This is the Log Rush Show. This is Unity Radio, the real sound of the city. Coming up next is the Unity Radio Drive Time Show. Thank you very much everyone for listening and the show will be edited into a podcast and distributed online on www.reentry.fm everyone have a fantastic evening